Hello grade 11! Welcome! In this video, you will learn about the different human activities that speed up or trigger landslide. Tara! Previously, you learned that landslide is the movement of a mass of rock debris or earth down a slope that causes harm to the community. You also learned that there are different types of landslides. We have the falls, the topples, the slides, the spreads, and the flows which has five different categories. Landslides can cause a significant number of fatalities which are linked in human activities. Some of these activities may speed up or trigger landslide. First, we have mining which is the extraction of valuable minerals or other geological materials from the earth. It uses explosives underground which create mini earthquakes that can cause landslides. Next is quarrying which refers to the excavation or pit usually open to air from which building stone, slate or the like is obtained by cutting, blasting, etc. It also uses explosives in which vibrations cause landslide in slopes. Next is land development, the changing of landscape from a natural or semi-natural state for a purpose such as agriculture or housing which alters the shape of a slope or which imposes new loads on an existing slope. Land development makes the land susceptible to soil liquefaction which may cause landslide during heavy rainfall. We also have land pollution which is the degradation of Earth's land surfaces often caused by human activities and its misuse. Some of the reasons are industrial wastes, exploitation of minerals, and improper use of soil. Another is excavation, the process of moving earth, rock, or other materials with tools, equipment, or explosives for constructions to create building foundations, reservoirs, and roads. Deforestation is also a factor of landslide. This refers to the removal of a forest or stand of trees from land which involves the conversion of forest land to farms or economic infrastructure use which destabilize the already fragile slopes. Many human-caused landslides can be avoided or mitigated. Here are some. Number 1. Since water is the most common cause of unstable slopes, landslides and erosion, Check your home's drainage system. Make sure drainage system directs water away from home foundation. Number 2. Vegetation cover protects land from landslides and soil erosion. Thus, efforts should be made to maintain greenery particularly on slopes. Number 3. Trees should be planted on slopes and slopes based to prevent erosion. Number 4. Minimizing irrigation on the surface of the soil. Number 5. During construction of a building on a slope, the design that suits the natural slope should be adapted. Number 6. Proper land use measures. Adapt an effective land use regulations and building codes based on scientific research. Number 7. Look for changes to your surroundings that may signal the likelihood of landslide activity, such as leaning fences or walls. Number 8. Do not put waste on the slopes of your community. Number 9. Dewatering or installing impermeable membranes on existing slide areas to prevent oversaturation of soil due to rain or water. Number 10. Direct methods of preventing landslides such as modifying slope geometry, using chemical agents to reinforce slope material, 
installing structures such as piles and retaining walls, grouting rock joints and fissures, diverting debris pathways, and rerouting surface and underwater drainage. Number 11. Hazard mapping locate areas prone to slope failures. This method identify areas for building settlements. And number 12. The public should be educated about signs that a landslide is approaching. Thus, safety measures may be taken to reduce the impact. And that ends our lesson. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Kick. Hey.